Hey guys, so this is going to be a different kind of video, as you can most likely tell from the title. So it's about 9 a.m. on Tuesday, and um, I just wanted to tell you guys about uh, an incident that uh, happened on Sunday uh, regarding my girlfriend. So the two of us were out and running errands, and we decided to stop at a uh, chicken restaurant uh, called Chicken Festival, a Peruvian chicken place that we passed by a billion times, but we never actually went inside until Sunday. And uh, the food was good. Uh, we both had a quarter chicken. I had some rice. We both had fries. We shared some ribs, and she had a, a fruit drink with milk in it. But not 30 minutes after we got home, she started feeling ill. She was complaining that her stomach was hurting. And she was just getting sicker and sicker. She was throwing up. She was dehydrated. She couldn't keep anything down. Now, I've gotten food poisoning before, and I felt like crap. But when I get food poisoning, I can mostly sleep it off. But... My girlfriend is a diabetic, so when a diabetic gets food poisoning, things can get complicated. And she's been through this before, uh, seven years ago, way, way, way before we even met. So about four hours after she first started feeling sick, she told me that she needed to go to the hospital. Originally, I thought that we could have my neighbor drive her there, but... Uh, in retrospect, it wouldn't have been good because she probably would have ended up waiting in the waiting room all night. So we ended up calling an ambulance, which took her straight to the emergency room. They were able to give her fluids, thankfully. She was just admitted last night. So she has her own room now. And... Uh, she was feeling better, but literally just as I was recording this video, she texted me that she was feeling sick again. She originally said that uh, she might be able to go home today, according to the doctors, but now it's looking a little bit more grim. I hope that she is still able to come home today. It's just that it's just a relapse, but until then, you know, just keep her in your thoughts and I'll keep you guys posted as I learn more information. Take care.